Hello, boys and girls. This is Pearl of Wisdom, and uh, I'm testing my volume, but I'm also just going to give you all the picks for Friday the 22nd. Uh, if you would like these picks on a regular basis, I'll give it. I'll send you a link in the comment section. I'll even put it. I'll put the link in there for free. All right. You can just go hang out for a week and see if you like it. I also do baseball, basketball, everything all year round. We're up. Uh, over 500 units for this for the year already 65 units for the month if you don't know what units are they're ways of betting it's money i can teach you all about it if you like to make money then continue listening if you don't then you probably want to move on okay let's look at the picks for today and we'll see there okay let's look at the picks for today 22nd of Friday, 22nd of April. Ottawa versus Columbus. Okay, look at the matchup. Uh, first of all, it's a, it's a six and a half. I, I could see lots of reason for an over and un, or an under here. Uh, you got the trend is Ottawa is two and seven in Columbus. Uh, one in five straight up. In the last seven games, when playing on the road against Columbus, not good. But the thing is, is here, I don't trust Columbus as far as you can throw them right now. Uh, they lost 3-2 to San Jose, 6-4 uh, four, four to Anaheim, 2-1 to LA, 1-5-1, 1-5-4 uh, with Detroit. But that was... Uh, those games that they won, they had fresh legs. These younger fresh legs, they're playing guys like jo Johnson and uh, like really young guys in the lineup that usually do well for the first four or five games. And then the, st the travel and everything and playing in the NHL ends up hitting them and things go all the crap. So they have no Lion A. Uh, who else don't they have? Shinnikov, uh, Adam Boquist on defense, no Zach Wierenski. Um, look, at, look at the guys that they have here. Nick Blankenberg, just out of college, playing in top four minutes. Uh, it's, it's a sad – Sean Corrales is their second-line center. Cole Sillinger has been a game kid, but he's just a kid, 18 years old, and he's been playing all year. This team is wearing down big time. And Ottawa, although are always game, they, 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 have, a, they have a type of team that will beat you down. And I think Columbus is very beat-downable. So I am going to go Ottawa here. Uh, the bad part is, is this. They're playing Gustafsson. I hate that. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I, I, so in, in retrospect, that should be kind of approaching and over, except I don't trust Columbus to have enough heart to score too much. Gustafsson only needs like 25 shots to let three in. And Elver Smith's Lickens with that defense. I mean, I got to lean the over. But I am going to still go with the Senators and cross my fingers that Gustafson can stop some pucks. That's pretty much it. Uh, next game, Seattle-Minnesota. Okay, <clears throat> it's not a great spot for Minnesota. They just had a tough game the night before. Uh, it's sort of like it could be a letdown spot, but the thing is Minnesota at home just doesn't seem to let down. Uh, one thing I will say here is it's a six and a half. Both of these uh, teams don't allow a lot of shots. Flurry will be in net. I don't think Seattle's going to score enough to get this to and over. I think this is like a 4-1 game, something like that. I'm actually strongly considering taking Seattle under two and a half. Here, team total. I shouldn't tell you that because I haven't put the play in. By the way, I have a couple plays on the Columbus-Ottawa game that doesn't have to do with sides and totals. 
<clears throat> but I'm going to go with Minnesota in regulation here. I know it's kind of juiced up, but their record at home is just too strong. And Seattle's record on the road is pretty weak. I think they're 4-16 and 16 on the road. They've been getting most of their wins at home. So I'm going to take Minnesota there. Edmonton versus Colorado. I think the side, I'm, honestly, I think it all, almost could be a draw. I, when I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on games, it usually ends up as a draw. Um, as far as the total is concerned, I think it could be an over. Uh, I think Colorado's going to come out strong here. They've had two bad games in a row. They've just lost to Seattle. You, there's got to be some pride here, man. I know it's the end of the season, and a lot of people are saying they're disinterested. I don't think they're going to be disinterested against Edmonton. This is a team that they could play in the playoffs. Um, they probably went golfing before the Seattle game or something. They now they have a travel, and they had to travel and play. And Edmonton, I think they're going to want to put out a good showing here. Now, Landeskog is out. Uh, Rantanen is possibly out. I think he's out as well, actually. Um, it says questionable, but Cap Friendly usually knows this stuff, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, he's out too. Hmm. Burkowski. These guys are not used to playing with each other too much. Man, there's a. I, okay, I got it. I'm going to go the under. I'm going to. I don't know why. I'm going to go Edmonton and the under, but I seriously wouldn't play the under. I think Edmonton might win this game. I, I, I'm all confused about this game. Honestly, I think it could be a draw. Throw a little bit on the draw there. And Washington, Arizona. Terrible spot for Washington, but it doesn't matter. Arizona is just, just a disaster on defense. They have uh, pretty much all their, their, their resting or getting healthy, all their forwards and defensemen. They're getting absolutely crushed in every way. Uh Right now, they've lost like they're losing every game by four or five goals. I'm taking Washington minus one and a half. Uh, you could even go minus two and a half, but like it is a bad spot for Washington. It's like their fourth or fifth game on the road. Um, but when you got Michael Carcioni and Barrett Heighton as your number one center, Jack McBain, they've been playing out of college. Alex Galchenyuk, I mean, Antoine Roussel is their third-line left winger. He shouldn't even be in the league. Who the heck is Amama Bokondi? What the heck is that? Or Bokondi Imama. I don't even know what that is. Is that a thing? Uh, <laughs> defenseman, you know, Moser and Strawman, Kobianko, gosh, Jaspier. Deneen, I mean, just, and then I wish Hari Satari was in. Look at that, save goals against average, 6.34. And a point eight zero nine too. But Washington should chew these guys up. I, ha I have some other plays on this game, but as far as the side, I'm taking Washington, uh, of course. And the total, I'm taking over six and a half. I think Arizona might even pot a couple because Washington's got Sam Sonoff in net. And I think Washington is knows that they can outscore Arizona. And when they know that, they generally go and play like that. So they might leave the, it open defensively. I have some other plays on this. Come over to uh, BPAL Picks. And uh, I'll send you the link in the comment section. Go over there and I'll give it to you for free. Why not? It's free, yo. It's free. It doesn't it won't hurt you at all. You're gonna leave. You don't need to stick around. But take a look at it, see if you like it. That's my full 42k. Bye.